Alright, what is up you beautiful people, and welcome back to the Communism Brawl. We are playing some Kerrigan today, let's get right to it. Uh, so why is this called the Communism Brawl? Well, uh, we got some Hallow Ground here, so we've got some free buffs here, that's that's always good. Uh, we also have Typeless, so equal, uh, Typeless has an equality, so units don't have a type anymore. So for example, if I put down the Spore Crawler over here, Mm, yeah, maybe I'll slap it down like right here, right there, and then I'll put down my spine crawlers over here. Normally, your buildings would have a type called armored structure and stuff like that, but you see here they don't have that. Uh, the hockey worm, none of that. Okay, uh, your bunker still has that, right? But uh, all your units are typeless, so they just don't have any stats to them. That could be good or it could be bad. Uh, usually, it's better unless you have a hero like Kerrigan, uh, who is now no longer immune to CC. <laughs> Which might not be that great, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, and next we also have Raid Boss here, so you know everyone gets a free Raid Boss, so that's always good. Um, and yeah, I'm playing with Inflames over here, one of our guys lagged out, so it looks like it's just going to be myself and Inflames here. Um, and looks like they have an Alarak and a Nova, both really specialized commanders here. Um, that might not do too well here. And Alarak and Nova, do they have air AoE? They don't really have air AoE besides, so I can probably go Mutalisk. I can probably go Mutalisk. I don't know. I'll see. Um, all right. Well, let's see what let's see what's gonna happen here. Uh, can the worms spit on the towers? Oh my God, it's busted. The worms can attack towers. Oh man, <laughs> worms can attack defenses. Op. <laughs> That's an additional layer of op right there, guys. I didn't even realize that was a feature. Um. <laughs> I mean, that's that's good. There's, I mean, that's good. We got that going for us here. Um, so, yeah, I think my strategy here is just going to be going for... Oh, wait, can Alarak even eat chicken nuggets here? I'm going to go for chain reaction here, because I don't, I don't think Alarak can eat chicken nuggets here. Uh, and chicken nuggets don't actually do much damage to me. And uh, so I'm just going to kill all of them, I guess. Um, I guess. I... Ooh, okay. Oh, there's an Artanis, but he didn't place down his cannons. Wait, Artanis can actually counter my Mutalisk here. Hmm. 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 I feel like I could just go Hydralisk. I mean, Hydralisk are not too bad against most things. Hmm. And they're quite cheap, too, so I can just sort of, uh, sell them back, I guess. Or not sell them back, but, like, you know, do something else with them. Uh, probably I'll put them over here. You can count on me. Put them down all the way over here. Oh, Nova's going for some Marines here. That seems like a pretty uh, good strategy, to be honest. Uh, yeah, there we go. Kill that guy over there. There we go. Get the muscular augments over here. I'm gonna put down some more hydralisk over there, and then maybe I should put them down over here as well because I'm making more life. Maybe. Let's see. Uh, oh. Kerrigan here just raking in the kills. Um, I got some evolved missile upgrades here. Let's go beam down those zealots here. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, do the worms attack the cannon? Oh, the worms doesn't don't attack the cannon, but they attack the other units here. But actually, uh, stimmed hydras still very good. And let's see. Alarak. I think Artanis has a decent counter with Archons. Alarak might have to deal with them using Vanguards, which got nerfed recently, if you guys haven't seen the, the video. Be sure to go check out the nerf video. Um, but yeah, all he's got is Chicken Nuggets here. Chicken Nuggets aren't that strong. I mean, he's got some Slayers, actually. It's not too bad. Um, oh, we need some detection here, I think. Because uh, there's some units that... Uh, there's an invisible... There's an invisible Nova here. There we go. There she is. There she is. Uh, by the way, guys, if you guys are new here to my channel, and you guys enjoy Direct Strike content, be sure to watch this video to the end to see how many Hydros we end up getting. And uh, also, I'm almost at 600 subscribers at the time of the making of this video. It could be the case that I'm already at 600 subscribers. That that could be cool too, you know. And that's also because thanks to you guys, uh, we're over here. Uh, and so yeah, if I'm not there yet, be sure to drop a few subs to keep up with this kind of content, especially if you enjoy it. Uh, and yeah, at 600 subs, we're gonna do another live stream special because you already know it. Um, and you guys can come and play some games with me here. In Flames is a viewer, and uh, you know I love playing with viewers. Uh, you guys can hit me up anytime. I think Night Raven, your I don't know why I can't receive your messages. I don't know if you saw the other video. It's like it's bugged out. Please, like, give me a shout out. I'm not trying to ignore you. Like, I'm just, it's just bugged out. I don't know why I can't message you back. I don't know if you saw in that video. 
Uh, but yeah, like, I don't know if it's like gonna... See, Alaric here can't actually... He can't eat his chicken nuggets. It's over. Alaric just got hard nerfed. If he can't eat his chicken nuggets, it's over. And, uh, although the Bile Swarm is actually gonna be... The Bile Blast is gonna be quite strong against my Hydralisk. So, you know what I need? Uh, I'm gonna need some Ultralisk here. And in Flames here, just going for a pure small Dahaka. With no Dahaka. I like it. I like it. Um, let's see. Um... Oh my goodness here. Let's see, I think this his his bio cannon blast is still a pretty strong barrage. It does flat damage, I think. But it might do bonus against um light units. So that might be a thing here. That might be uh pretty strong against us here. Let's see. Uh Hellbat Rangers do only twenty seven damage. Mmm. Mmm. Definitely not as good as they used to be against these light units here. Although Nova Marines are quite strong. They're much stronger than my Hydralis in terms of HP. Um, uh, oops, probably pay attention there, so I can actually put down another creep tumor here. But we're slowly creeping in, so it's okay. Um, Alarak not being able to eat his chicken nuggets is probably the saddest moment ever. But at least chicken nuggets are a great front line, uh, for Slayers, but Slayers are no longer as good against the armored Stalkers as, uh, they used to. I mean, I mean, Slayers are no longer as good against the armored Roaches. Because not, right now, like, with this many Slayers, they should have killed all the Roaches here. Um, but they have not been able to. Okay, so I need some Ultralisk to counteract these Archons. Uh, do I have any Ultralisk to counter Archons? My Hydralisks are monstrous. They are monsters here. I Can I stab the Nexus here? I cannot stab the Nexus here. Whew! Oh my god. And we just we just blasted our way through that. Oh my goodness. So Kerrigan here, because Hydralisks don't suffer any DPS loss, they just, they just do damage anyways. Uh, makes them pretty good. 23k damage dealt here, 20, 14k over here. Feels bad to be Alarak, man, when you can't eat your chicken nuggets. Uh, over a unit value kill, 10k, 6k. Pretty good overall. This is this is a pretty tanky wave here, and it looks like Inflames just managed to get the Haka out. Just out on a field here, and there we go. That was a pretty short game. Let's go play one last round. Let's go. All right, and we are back, and it looks like we're actually against Night Raven this time, so I can actually like let him know that I can't see his messages here. Uh, so I'm gonna put this down over here, and then I'm just gonna say, uh, I wrote, I can't respond to your messages for some reason. Maybe it's because they appeared offline, uh, but we'll see. And it could also be hilarious if this is not the right person. But I'm pretty sure Night Raven's name in game is Iroh. It's all good. Yep, it is. Can't remember for some reason. It's all good. Um, good luck, have fun. There we go. Uh, and it looks like oh, we got some, we got some roaches coming out here. Mm, so I was playing Abathur against Abathur. What do I want to do? Abathur's gonna dominate the air. Um, uh, and I can't really go Mutalisk into that, because Mutalisk will die to Devours, um, because of AoE. Abathur also has better Mutalisk, so actually, no, they're not better anymore, because they don't do bonus damage to Armored anymore. Um, oh, we have another Alarak player here. Alarak is just gonna be, oh, it's gonna be dinked here, because of the fact that he can't eat his chicken nuggets here. Uh, Kronosis here on Manx, and Inoflames here on Dahaka again. Okay, so, well... It looks like Small Manx is able to beat elite, un <laughs> elite Nova Marines here just by sheer force of numbers here. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I have Assimilate on uh, Autocast here. There we go, we got some Roaches coming out here. I'm gonna upgrade Kerrigan, although Kerrigan is gonna be able to get stunned here, so that's gonna be bad here. Yeah, Kerrigan's attack speed is actually going down here. Uh, there we go. But I guess Kerrigan can just sort of stab the Roaches with her abilities here. And there we go, just stab it, there we go. Oh, but she's so slow. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Now the question is... Oh, she can get stunned by Alarak? Oh, that's over. That's over. I was like, why, why can't I use her abilities? And it's like, Alarak had her stunned. Okay. So, let's see. I think what I want to want to do is drop down a bunch of Hydras. And actually just put down a bunch of Lings here at the front. Because my Lings here actually aren't considered light anymore. And I think they can still shred armor, which makes them super annoying to deal with. Uh, yeah, they still have Shredding Claws here. Uh, Hardened Carapace, probably don't need that. Probably want Frenzy here. I'm gonna need a bunch of, uh, different things to, uh, mm -hmm, get in here. Gonna get this over here. Uh, and, yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go. Shredding Claws over here. 
Okay, Kerrigan is going to tank here for my Hydralisk, which is pretty nice here. Hydralisks are quite powerful. We're probably going to end up facing some Guardians soon enough. Uh, but as soon as my Hydralisks start getting their attack speed slow, that's going to be kind of bad here. But that's okay. Hydralisks here. Ooh, Igniter coming out here from Inflames. Hmm. I don't know about the Igniter, though, because the Igniters actually, they have a damage loss. Because they do bonus damage to a certain unit, which is light units. So maybe, maybe, I don't know. Um, as long as they don't get the ignited damage upgrade, I mean, guess, I guess that's fine, because they're quite tanky for their cost. But yeah, watch, well, probably second gas here at this point. Probably should do that here. Uh, let's see. Mang's coming out here with so many, so many boys here. There's so many of them. What's the plan? Uh, oh, let's pull up here. Oh my god, got a biomass roach here. Iro going for some tier one Abathur action. Could be very good. I'm gonna get some evolved missile attacks here. Let's go, Hydralisk. Get in there. Get in there, Hydralisk. Get that shredding claws. Uh, okay, Hydralisk able to blast their way through here. Are they able to kill off the big roach? To oh, they're not able to kill off the big roach here. And that is gonna be it for my Hydralisk. I'm gonna need some more units here. There we go. I'm gonna put this down over here. Put this down over here. Put this down over here, put this down over here, put this down over here, there we go. Oh my gosh, just rows and rows of LMG boys coming in here, holy, it's mowing them down. Brr, LMG go brr. Oh, but I don't know if that's going to be enough here. We're going to need some hardened carapace coming out from these lings here. Get some more HP on them. 60 HP links are quite strong with the Shredding Claws. Uh, ooh, we got some extra extra stats here. Let's get that extra mutation over here. Get some more AD coming on here. Okay, I need a Ling Box, I think. Um, yeah, let's get a Ling Box over here. Let's, let's, let's go. Uh, I should probably stack them all over here on this side. You guys are probably telling me, like, oh my god, stack them on this side. They have more HP on here. But I still want to have some links over here. Some links in the front here, so... That's the reason why I'm going here, but I'm gonna just flood this side here with links, I suppose. They also do more damage, too. Interesting. I should probably buff my character up. Soon TM. Soon TM. Uh, queens actually don't do anything. They don't heal any units anymore. Well, that Aber uh, Iroh has two queens here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Alright, more, more of these links. And I'm gonna probably stop down some more Hydras here. I should probably just get a firing line rather than like have like a double stack like that. I think a double stack is less effective. Uh, chain reaction here. That'll help us do some more damage here. There we go. Chain reaction here. Okay. Roaches are strong. Yes. But armor shredding lings are stronger, I think. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I need more DPS, I think. I need way more DPS here. Oh, actually no, the Hydras are actually an, are actually stronger. Uh, I kind of meme that, but it looks like they are stronger here. Uh, there we go, boom, 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 boom. Alright, I'm going to put these down over here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, oh, oh. And then let's nab another one, maybe get some more attack speed. Um... Pop down another guy over here. There we go. Uh, oh, Ravisaurs. Okay. Oh my god, that's some real Manx DPS coming through here. And there we go. That's gonna afford us another gas here. I think. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna gas up here really aggressively here. The game is probably gonna at least hit hit 12 minutes here. I'm gonna get some more weapon upgrades for my units here, and then maybe we can get some Fury over here actually, so Kerrigan can attack faster. I don't even know if that's worth it at this point. Uh, there are some stealthed units in here in the back here, so I should probably get myself a... Um, oh my god. The 13 armor roach here is actually going to make... <laughs> my Hydro's actually only do 2 damage to it. Oh no. 13 armor roach. Okay, we need to do something about that ASAP here. Uh, Lurkers don't actually do bonus damage against it, so I should probably get... Mm, I mean, Lurkers still do AoE though, so AoE is still AoE is still prime real estate here. Um, wait, I can't upgrade my Hydralis? Oh, because they're not counted as Hydralisk anymore. They're counted as just a unit. Oh my god, okay. 
So let's see. Uh, let me put my lurker down. Maybe like right over here at the front. Uh, like right here maybe. Pop it down over here. Get some more attack speed on it. Get the groove. Get the seismic spines. Uh, have to buy another lurker though. I'm gonna need a lot more lurkers here. Cause yeah, my hydro line here is just going down here. I think I probably need. Uh, actually no. You know what? I need. I need tier three because I think I want what I want is just some upgrades to my front line. As in, I want some ultralisks. Uh, so let's get that going here for us. I mean, I never thought Chicken Nugget Alarak, like just no, just just pure Chicken Nuggets and Slayers, would be a build I'm seeing here with Alarak here. But I think we gotta go for tier three. Manx is already tier three here, but oh my god, the biomass roach is actually nasty here. We got 14 armor on them, potentially up to like 18 armor. I don't even know. Oh my god, increased attack range on the Hellbat Rangers always looks hilarious here. Um, let's see. There are so many units here. Oh no, the bow cannon's coming down here. I'm gonna drop my raid bosses here. I'm gonna try and e even the fight here, equalize our, our battle here. Uh, Alright, here we go. Raid bosses can only be dropped defensively at the end of the day. But, um, are we able to hang on here? I mean, the Bile Blast is actually quite strong here. Uh, looks like we are able to hang on here. Enemy raid bosses are not taking any aggro at all. I'm surprised about that. I'm gonna drop a Ultralisk down here now. So Ultra is not being armored is going to be very good. And they're frenzied, so they can't be like CC'd at all. So they're not vulnerable to the normal vulnerabilities of every other big unit you can buy. Uh, burrow Charge, Tissue Assimilation. I'm going to buy all these things here. I'll upgrade my Hydralisk when I need to, which is probably not yet. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Uh, there we go. Uh... Whoa! Best of Thor's coming in here. Oh, I think I might. Oh, my lurker here is actually getting some kills here. I mean, he does 24 damage and does AOE, so it's not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna crack up my lings here so they, do, they attack faster. Don't know if that's gonna help at all. Uh, there we go. Ultralisk here, just immune to being CC'd by the Roach here. We got some Guardians, but uh. Oh my god, I'm gonna vaporize them Guardians here. But the Guardians are gonna be a long term problem here. That I'm gonna have to figure out a way to deal with here. Uh, Vanguards are still great splash damage though. Oh my god! I mean, they got they got nerfed, but I feel like they're still pretty powerful because they got a really big buff last time. Oh wait, hold on, Hyperion, get, get out of here. Hyperion, get out of here. Uh, there we go. One reason why you don't want to let your opponent see your worker is that uh, they can tell how many units you have and how much minerals you've spent and uh, whether or not they're ahead or not. I guess it's a useful metric. Um, there we go. Hyperion is finally over here. Okay, how have my Ultras been doing here? We've actually managed to push all the way to their base with those Thors that we dropped down, which is actually kind of wild to think about it. Um, let's see. But uh, they're going to slowly and surely be pushing us back here because we uh, we've hit the roadblock called the Enemy Nexus. And now uh, the Enemy Nexus is a pretty strong roadblock here. Um, okay. Okay. I mean, Alarak is going to be a little disappointed here when he tries to CC my Ultras here. Uh, that being said, my Hydras are getting vaporized here. Oh my goodness. The increased range on Vanguards are actually ridiculous. Even though they don't do bonus damage to the armor units, they still do a lot of damage per hit. Uh, let's see. And... Hmm. Okay, I got another firing line up here, and I'm just going to slap down more Lings, I guess. Uh, overall, over here, over here, over here. Just, I just need some more lings coming in here. How has this lurker been doing? This lurker has 13 kills. That's pretty good. Uh, although I think I feel like I need to get more armor against vanguards because I think armor, because each of the hits counts as one. If they only do 10 damage per hit, my ultras can have six armor here. So if I just get up to a very ridiculously large armor count here, we can uh, probably make this happen. Uh, although my Hydras are getting melted here by the Brood, um, not the Brood Lords, by the, um, Bile Cannons. And Kerrigan into Avatar, I think I'm actually disadvantaged here against all of those Guardians. Like, I don't think I can actually push through. Uh, and I have that one Lurker here just trying to be a hero. Um, you know what? I think I need more Lurkers. Uh, I think one Lurker is just not enough here. One Lurker is not enough. Alright, there's that pushback here. 
I mean, the thing is, we still have our bunker here, so we have still have like a little bit. I mean, it's barely alive, but it's alive. You know, it's got 500 HP to it, so uh, it's still gonna be able to hold the line here. I'm gonna drop a Thor here, I guess. Might as well here. Um, to try and melt our way through this thick line here, but I don't know. Black Hammer is gonna be going down here. Yeah, so the the infested Thor is actually hard counter small squishy units, um, just because of the way they do damage. Uh, their bow cannons destroy units with just not enough HP here, and uh, it looks like the salute. My solution is actually just to get more front line. I just simply don't have enough front line. Um, yeah, I simply don't have enough front line. I think. Yeah. Like, yeah, I need, I need, I need way more ultras than I have right now. Um, I need way more ultras. Uh, let's see, we got a greater primal worm here coming down from in flames, and uh, I mean. Ravasaurs don't actually do much damage to tanks anymore, and tanks still do a lot of damage, and this looks like it might be it here. Our Manx here is just trying to roll in with as many boys as possible, but I think he needs more ultras here, actually. Oh man, that that looks like it's gonna be game here. Like our, oh my god, those vanguards here are just melting their way through us here. Um, okay, that is probably gonna be it here. Prop down on ultras here, but that's, that, is, that, is that game? That might be game, actually. Is it? Is it? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm gonna drop a scan over here so we can just kill all these them. Okay. Chop our way through here. Okay. I mean, I have I have some eight armor ultralisks here, so they're gonna be uh, able to tank for quite some time here. And these hydralisks here, able to do their thing. I always do that. <laughs> That's okay. I mean. There we go. Put down some more Ultras here. I think I just need to hard shove it down with Ultras, because I think Ultras are what'll be best for me. And their 8 armor means that they're super tanky here. Uh, and the Haka, I mean, Flames coming here with the Haka Ultras. The Haka Ultras are also super thick as well. They have more health too. I think, yeah, they have 625. They don't revive themselves though, but you know. Um, I mean, they have less sustained in combat health, I guess. So technically they're not as tanky as Kerrigan Ultras, because Kerrigan, Kerrigan Ultras just keep chopping their way even um, when they are, I mean, keep healing when they're in the fight. So their their little 500 health pool is not so little once they start fighting. Uh, so now that we're on the Nexus here, our Nexus is taking some significant, not significant, we're taking some damage, not significant though. I, w I wouldn't call it significant, it's a light scratch, you know. The paint's been scratched. Uh, but let's see, Aegis Guards here getting, getting slowed though. Uh, boys here getting slowed too. Man, the boys are actually hard countered by um, the big roaches here because uh, the battle mass roaches are super tanky. Um, let's see. Oh yes, we should probably move our defenses back here. Uh, I'm gonna put them down over here like that, and then put it down maybe like over here like that. I don't even know. Uh, let's see. How are my units doing over here? I think ultras should still be hard countering the vanguards here because they don't actually take much damage from them. My ultras like barely taking any damage from the vanguards here. So in order to counter the vanguards, I need to get ultras. Because um, the vanguards actually counter my hydras. Because um, of their bonus. That they just do so much damage per shot total. I mean, if, they, if, you, if you add it up, they do a lot of damage. Uh, but individually, their shots do barely any damage here. And so 8 armor ultras make vanguards do like 2 or 3 damage per shot. So they only take like 20 damage from them. And are we actually going to turn the tides here? Oh my god. That is a tide turner right there, not gonna lie. It looked like they had us there like two minutes ago. That was a really nice tight game here. 99k damage dealt by me. Ooh, that's actually significantly higher than I thought I would be doing. I thought I would be doing nothing. Uh, Inflames here tanking like a beast here. And Iroh actually with 120k damage sustained. Man, these roaches are super tanky. Too bad the queens don't heal anything actually. Um, but yeah, super tanky roaches. Really looking forward to play with those actually. 53k mineral value killed. I think I should be ahead in resources because that's just how Kerrigan does. Yeah, because her passive just gives her more income. But yeah, anyways guys, if you guys enjoyed these two Kerrigan games, be sure to leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.